Hey, I'm Alex, and uh, today I want to show you how you can render over scan from the ray render. So normally when we render from our scan line render, there's an option in here we can, where you can just set the amount of pixels you want to over scan by. So let's say if we say 100, you see we get that uh, information outside the outside the field of view of the camera. So if we, if we were to transform down here, you see we still have, you know, pixel data outside. So this comes in very handy when you're going to be applying distortion, for example. But how do you do that in the ray render where when you open it, there's really no option in there to add over scan. And the, the way I've been doing it for a long time now is I, I let's just say I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of my camera, right? So I, I just keep uh, separate cameras, even though it's going to be the same, but I make a slight modification to the camera that I'm going to be using for the ray render. So in this case, my project set to HD. So I'm going to go ahead and create a reformat real quick. And this, of course, is just going to inherit the root format. And then I'm going to add another one. And this one is going to be multiplying the root format by this new one. So I'm going to go ahead and change this one to scale. And then on scale, you think about it as a multiplier uh, in terms of percentage, right? So one is 100% of the root format because it's, it's connected directly below it. So if we were to set it to 1.1, that's essentially 10% larger than, than the root format, right? So let's go ahead and connect that to the, our background pipe and the ray render, right? And, you know, what happens is it, it just doesn't seem like it's doing much, but it is getting bigger in, in, in pixel pixel count, right? So it's 10% larger than, than the format was before. That doesn't really help us much, but this is where it gets interesting. So if we, if we go ahead and open both the camera and the, and the reformat, options here. Uh, for the camera, what you want to go do and go to the projection tab, right? And you see there's this option for window scale U and window scale V. You want to go ahead and expression link from that reformat to those two uh, values, right? So I'm going to go ahead and expression link both. And then that's that way whatever percentage you apply here is going to get applied to the camera as well so let's keep it at 10 percent right and then the next thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and add a reformat here right below and this one you're going to set to none because you don't you don't want it to squeeze by or, or, or resize by by sides or top you just want it to go to sorry here you're going to go to none right and it's very important that you say preserve bounding box right so i'm going to make a copy here of my ray render just just so you can see the difference and i'm going to attach this one to the original camera we had and i'm going to attach our environment here and if we look at the output of the scanline render and we look at um at the output of the ray render, you see it's exactly the same. The, the only difference is, is the overscan, right? So now if we look at the new the new setup we have here is exact, exactly the same, but now we have that overscan, right? So if we wanted to go ahead and increase that uh, overscan, we can just open our, um, our reformat here, the one that's set to scale, and we can just increase this as much as we want. So let's say 1.2. And then again, we look through here and you see nothing changes except our overscan, of course. So if we go ahead and add transform here, you can see if I move it down, we still have all that pixel data outside. So, you know, it, not very straightforward. And unfortunately, there's no option to just do it directly in the node. But this is, you know, gives you exactly the same amount of control. And it's pretty easy to set up. Once you have it, you, you can just recreate it as many times as you need. All right. All right. Bye.